This complaint lists four counts, including negligence and intentional assault, filed against Oklahoma City and the City Police Department. Attorney Scott Adams says his client, 21-year-old Dorless Ellis, was shot by an officer. But there's not been any evidence that I've seen whatsoever that would show that Mr. Ellis was either a threat, had threatened this officer, or had done anything whatsoever that would justify even the pulling of a gun. The case stems from an early morning traffic stop gone wrong. In December, Dorless Ellis, a convicted felon, was pulled over for speeding. He ran from police, eventually ending up in a dark, narrow driveway in southwest Oklahoma City. The lawsuit alleges he was just 13 feet away from Officer Colton Ellis when he was shot in the abdomen, despite showing no signs of being armed. Even if it, he did run from a traffic stop, I mean, big deal, it's a traffic stop. And, and but for them to, to do this and get to the point where they shoot him when he clearly has no weapon and never did have a weapon, uh, there's clearly something amiss here. Back when this incident occurred, Officer Ellis told investigators he saw the suspect aggressively reach for his waistband, a fact that District Attorney David Prater said can neither be proven nor disproven. News Channel 4 reached out to the city of Oklahoma City and the police department. Neither the city nor police department wanted to comment on the pending litigation. Dorless Ellis is asking for $75,000 in monetary damages. As for Adams, he's hoping for departmental change. There are body cams, don't get me wrong. It's just not widely used like it should be. And hopefully this lawsuit will help spur that along.